Twas some time before Christmas, and all through the stores, merch was overflowing, boxes stacked up on the floors. Crafters were weary of the same old decor. They needed new ideas. They wanted something more. They were tinkering and toiling and just tiring themselves when suddenly they encountered the Arclection Craftsmas Elves. The first craft of the season is to decorate our tasty treat Tannenbaum. Let's start with a base that is good enough to eat. Here is the platform that I'm going to use as my tree stand. This is one of my decorated hat boxes that I made and I used a gigantic styrofoam donut that I had cut in half with my hot wire cutter. This is actually the backside of a decorated donut and it was just this brown color with glitter on it. So I decided to go ahead and frost it by adding white acrylic paint. And then while that, while that was wet, I sprinkled some iridescent glitter, some iridescent sequins, some red sequins, and some red bugle beads into the mix to make it this kind of fun, sort of peppermint sprinkled donut. And this, of course, goes on to my decorated box, which I had covered in pink paper and then used a hotter pink glitter spray, some plastic peppermints, and some white trim, several kinds, some silver trim around the tray on the bottom, some little styrofoam balls. And I decided that I wanted to go ahead and cut out the middle and make it a Christmas tree stand, which is how I'm going to be using it on my Tasty Tree Tannenbaum. Here is the Christmas tree. This is a $39.99 Christmas tree that Walmart is selling this year. And I think because it's white, it was very inexpensive. It's a pretty good size and this is gonna be perfect for my tasty treats. The first thing that needs to happen is I need to make my stand fit inside the box. This is a six and a half foot tree, but I do need to make it fit. Now, normally I wouldn't have the tree attached to the bottom but it doesn't come out of this center base. These legs come off, but this doesn't. It's permanently attached to the tree, which I guess makes it stronger. Measure the distance that this actually comes out, and that is just about one inch. And what I'm gonna do is measure on all four sides and make sure that I've got the exact same amount on all the sides that's coming out so that I can mark exactly where I need to make my cut. I'm just gently tapping it over to try and get it to move. I'm going to mark exactly where that needs to happen, just on the inside of the box, so I know how much I need to cut off. Now I can remove all of the legs. I wish this thing came off but it doesn't. So I know how much I need to cut off, and I'm going to mark that line. Actually, I don't need my ruler. I'm gonna mark all of these exactly the same. I am ready to cut these now. You can use just a regular little hacksaw like this. Just make sure that you're cutting in a straight line. I'm going to take the easy way and use my skill saw because it takes me a lot less time. Whoops. All done and ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and reinsert these and see how well it fits. Cross your fingers. Ooh, perfect. Look at that. It fits. Yay! Now, the other thing that's a little problematic about this box, doing this with this tree, I do have to take the legs back off because even though this will fit through here, because I can't remove that base from the tree, I have to stick the tree in first, then put my legs back on. Now, 
I can put my tree back in the box. Let that settle in the center. It is enclosed, it's centered, it's sturdy. Yay! Just to give you an idea, it's ready to go. Check this off the list. Fluffing the tree. I do it by pulling the branches apart and opening them up. Most trees don't have the little wire branches all the way up the full branch. So the tips are only about halfway up. And the less expensive the tree is, the less you have these tips going throughout the whole branch. This isn't an expensive tree, but it's going to look really nice with all of the tasty Tannenbaum treats on it. The white background will really make all the color show up. And once it's full of ornaments, it'll really look like a full fluffy tree. So you don't always have to have the fluffiest, most expensive tree. And opening up the branches by spreading out all the tips, the wire tips, and shaping them so that it gives as much of an open look like a blooming flower, in a way. And it really fills in the space on the tree. 